Hi, welcome. My name is John Serla and we're cooking at home. And today we're gonna make a couple dishes using California squab. I have um, one squab that's been breasted out and it has a skin on. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half with my knife. And then I want to make for you today some squab skewers. So I want to keep the skin intact by using the stick. So I'm just gonna cut this in three even pieces. And then I have some skewers right here and I'm just gonna put them right underneath and shoot it through. And then I have a red bell pepper and a red onion. Pick a piece, and I have the vegetables around the same size of the squab. So on the top side, I'm keeping the skin intact. Then I'm going to go through the side of the breast, and then put one more layer of bell pepper and red onion, and then I'm going to top it with the end of the squab, and go right through the top. Here's the squab, so I'll do it one more time. So here, you can grab the, the two cuts in the breast, and then you have the pointy part, and then you have the flat part. So in the flat part, through the bottom end, I'm gonna stick the squab. And then another easier way to do this is poke a hole first in the cutting board, and then push through your fingers, and you won't stab yourself. And then I'll repeat the process. One more time with the bell pepper and the red onion. And then I'll top it off with the last piece of the squab, keeping all the skin upright. And this is our grilled squab that we're gonna grill right now and um, uh, finished with the vegetables. And we're gonna garnish it with um, salt and pepper. So I'm gonna put salt and pepper. And then I have a mixture here made with um, olive oil, garlic, and fresh thyme. And then I'm just gonna marinate these skewers just like so and brush it on so it has a nice marinade on it. And you can marinate it up to an hour before you grill it. And then I'll put a little pepper, a little salt, and repeat the process. I'll take this uh, marinade using uh, minced shallots, garlic, thyme, and just brush it right on the meat. And this will give it a nice Italian flavor to the dish. Hi, so we're here outside in the grill and I have it set to about a medium high um, heat and I made sure I, I cleaned it really well with the brush before I put the meat on. So here I have the squab and I'm gonna put it skin side down and we'll leave it on the grill for approximately five minutes before we turn it. So here we want to get the skin crispy and um, it will make it um, a lot juicier. So here we've waited for about four to five minutes. I'm going to do a quarter turn to two o'clock so I have it faced at ten o'clock. We'll just pick it up and we'll just turn it just like so. So here we get those nice diamond marks on the skin. So here we're gonna flip over the squab skewers and here we have a nice caramelized skin and that's what you want. So we're gonna point that at 10 a.m. and let it cook for another five minutes to achieve the medium rare. So the reason I fell in love with squab, I had it about 20 years ago at a restaurant with risotto, and the chef actually took the breast, sliced it, fanned it over the risotto, and finished it with a beef demi-glace. And the doneness should be at a medium rare to make sure you're eating it uh, perfectly. Um, a lot of uh, people out there um, say you're overcooking it, for, and like chicken, 
but it's it's pretty much like a duck or a game bird where you can eat it medium rare and enjoy it. So if you're not into poultry and you're into beef, definitely try squab because the uh, characteristics are very uh, close to filet mignon or beef. Okay, for the last turn, we're gonna go to two o'clock. And then we'll just let that sit for probably another two minutes. Then we'll take it inside and I'm gonna show you how we plate it. So here at the plate, I have some uh, fresh Italian parsley and fresh thyme. So I'm gonna place the skewers on the plate, uh, crossing them. Then I have some um, balsamic reduction that's been uh, reduced down. And I'm just gonna garnish that on the plate. So. And then I'm gonna finish the dish with some fresh extra virgin olive oil around the plate and on the squab. And then you just sprinkle just a little bit of sea salt to finish. And that's your grilled California squab with um, red bell pepper and red onion, finished with a balsamic and extra virgin olive oil. Enjoy.